Hi, a blessed day to all of you. So our topic for this week is about the history of nursing practice in the world, in the Philippines, and at Chinese General Hospital Colleges. Okay, and the second topic for this week is about the overview on the nature of professional nursing practice. Okay, so actually if you are looking at your book, okay, the new books, the one that I prescribe, okay, the fundamentals of nursing. So before kasi during my time, it is thick as this. So ganyan siya kakapal, no, in volume 1 and 2. Napakahaba kasi ng history na kasama doon sa books in the sa book in the previous years. But recently, if you check your book, wala na yung ibang history. Okay, from the ancient ancient times. Um, ang history ng nursing here nag-start na sa contemporary nursing. But then um in my presentation, we are thankfully that meron pa tayong na, naiwan na mga references from previous ano, um, years. So, meron pa tayong natira. So, I can share it with you. Okay? Kasi, why is it important nga ba to study history? Diba? History of nursing. Diba? Uh, Philippine history. Diba? May mga raming history. But here, our focus is the history of nursing. Why is, why is it important? Okay, brainstorming nga tayo. Bakit ba natin kailangang balikan ang history? Especially in nursing. Why? Okay, I give you, pause ka muna in few minutes at pag-isip-isipan. Importante ba ito? Why does um, in the recent or in the current curriculum, some of the history were removed or deleted? Um, kasi in the current curriculum, ang iniisip na lang nila is we have to focus on the essential. But then again, um, here in my presentation, um, else I want to share to you a brief history of nursing. Siguro in less than an hour or more than an hour lang naman natin pag-uusapan ang history of nursing. So, kasi I believe that history is still very important in your profession. Diba? Why? Kasi that is for you, my dear students or nurses in the future, to understand more fully of the problems especially in the current situation and how will you understand that without um looking back at the history of nursing paano ba nag-exist ang nursing anong ginagawa nilang practice to care for the sick in the past okay why is it important nga ba ang history natin pag-aaralan because sometimes you will learn from the past experiences diba yung experiences natin yung mga experiences na nag-learn natin, it form us into a better person in the future. So, bakit natin kang kalimutan yung past experiences? Although in the past, siguro merong hindi ganun kaganda ang practice, you will learn from that of how you will improve the current or the future practice of nursing from the past. Okay? From your knowledge in the past. And then, as nurses, it is very difficult for you to solve an issue or problem in your current situation without any history of the past. Kasi nga, as I mentioned a while ago, yung past natin or yung history natin na isulat yun as experiences in the past that will teach you in the current or situation or in the future on how you will act or or how you will provide care effectively to your client and how you will solve an issue kung meron mang mga bagong issues na darating bagong illness na darating in the future just like what happened now in our current situation the COVID-19 diba? the COVID-19, iba ang symptoms iba ang presentation ng illness iba ang care na dapat binibigay sa patient compare in the past. So, nagkaroon na rin ng pandemic in the past. If you remember the plug, diba? The plug in the past. Uh, meron pa ibang um, term nun. Okay? So, nagkaroon na ng mga ganong diseases in the past. Although, iba ang presentation, iba ang symptoms, iba ang ang uh, action ng, ng patient or ang uh, action ng katawan ng pasyente. So, iba yung sa current situation natin. But at least, 
um, you will learn from it na this is how they care for the patient, no? Uh, very important yan during the time nung plug ba yun, um, nagkaroon na ng yung iba, okay, parang may virus din na ganyan, so yung mask, paano sila nag-invent ng mask during the time, how they care for the patient, na parang yung sunlight is very um, helpful during the time na dadalhin si patient exposed to sunlight for a few hours especially yung morning sunlight syempre kasi kapag afternoon sunlight naman eh, it may cause skin diseases naman or diba baka mag, mag cause pa ng skin cancer to the client so um, during the time ginawa na nila may mga care silang ginawa no so exposure to the sunlight tapos air yan, ventilation so, you will learn from that, diba? So, kaya, it is very important na we have to look pa. Okay, so, napakaba na ng introduction ko. So, the history of nursing in the world includes the following, no? It started from the ancient civilization up to the war period and in our current situation, eh, hindi na naman na eh, ipipresent natin here. So, isa-isahin natin ang mga to, okay? Let's discuss it. <clears throat> Prepared. So during the ancient uh, civilization, okay, uh, during this time, pag nagkaroon ng illness ang isang tao, they consider it as um, it attributes to the evil spirits. Diba? Baka may evil spirit, kaya nagkaroon ng ganong illness. And yung treatment nila, way of treatment nila, they were using uh, herbs and plants to cure illness. And then, may mga nurses na pala during this time. So, nag-exist na ang mga nursing during this time. And but, during the time, medyo mababa ang position ng nursing or nurses. They are um, considered or they act as domestic helper. So, napakababa lang, no? Domestic helper lang sila dyan. But then, of course, huwag natitignan na napakababa ng domestic helper, no? Um, kasi, alam naman natin na malaki din ang part na ginagawa ng mga helpers sa buhay natin, even sa inyo, di ba? Um, kung may mga helper kayo, mas mapapadali lahat ng trabaho ninyo. Nakakatulong sila, from the word helper, so nakakatulong sila. May malaki silang part sa buhay natin, so hindi nyo sila dapat tinititingnan as mababa. Okay? So, <clears throat> during this period, may mga significant person that then, no? And the significant person during this period is Herodotus, no? Of Halicarnassus. Um, he was a Greek historian and regarded as the father of history. So, kaya siguro um, history or H then, di ba? Herodotus. Okay? And then, during this time, um, men uses also black and white magic. So, black and white magic, um, paano ba nila ginaginag, may mga, um, may mga rituals na ginagawa during the time, during the primitive period. So, may mga rituals silang ginagawa um, para mapagaling yung may sakit. Okay? And during the period of intuitive nursing or the primi pri primitive period, era, okay, which is under your ancient um, civilization, uh, nursing was practiced, diba, since prehistoric times during this period among the primitive tribes, diba, and it lasted until the Christian era, itong period na to, okay, uh, primitive era to Christian era. During this time, nursing is untaught. So, hindi nag-aaral ang mga nursing. Hindi katulad ng time ninyo, time ninyo ngayon na before you become a nurse, um, kailangan nyo mag-aaral. Kailangan nyo maging professional. Kailangan nyo ng 4 years um, training. Okay, both. It include uh, both classroom setting and clinical setting. So, may classroom setting tayo my um, clinical setting tayo. So, during that time, wala pa. Hindi pa sila tinuturuan. And it is instinct instinctive. Ibig sabihin, 
automatic na yan. Okay, ginagawa na ng mga kababaihan or ng mga nurses noon. Nagkikare na from the word uh, nurses, nurse to care. Nagkikare na kapag may, merong may sakit, of course, automatic ikikare na nila kung paano nila bibigyan ng lunas or mapa, mapagaling ang patient. So, during that time. And then, the beliefs and practices of prehistoric man. So, ano ba yung mga beliefs and practices nila? Okay? So, during that time, yung nursing was a function that belonged to a woman. So, mga babae talaga ang nurses during that time. He believed that illness was caused by the invasion of the victims and evil spirits. So, may mga evil spirits daw kaya nagkaroon ng illness. And they believe in shaman or medicine man or witch doctors that uses white magic to cure an illness. Okay? They also practice trephining during that time. So, trephining means drilling or drilling a hole on a skull with a rock or stone without the benefits of anesthesia. As a last resort to drive evil spirits from the body of the afflicted. Imagine nyo na lang during the time, no? Kapag nagkaroon ka ng sakit, so nakikita niyan, bubutasan yung skull. Diba? Trefini, bubutasan yung skull para mapalabas daw yung evil spirit during the time. At hindi ko lang din alam kung gumaling nga ba talaga, no? Baka lalo, last resort kasi nila yan, eh. Ibig sabihin, pag wala na talagang chance na parang hindi talaga gumagaling, ito na yung gagawin nila. Okay, pero, di ba, syempre, pag binutasan mo yung skulls, what will happen to the client? Pwede lalong ikamatay yan. So, that was during the ancient times. So, let us now move on to the Egyptian civilization. So, there are also um, significant person or people during the Egyptian civilization. Sa Hammurabi. No? Si Hammurabi is the first king of Babylonian Empire. So, there is what we call a Hammurabi's Code, which is one of the first written codes of law um, in recorded history. So, my code na Hammurabi Code. And during this time, or during the <coughs> period of um, the Egyptian civilization, okay, under the, the leadership of, of Hammurabi, okay, there is what we call Sinud Dokyum, which is the house for the sick, kung saan nila nilalagay yung mga may sakit. Okay? And then, meron silang tinatawag na Imhotep, okay? Which is their god of healing and medicine. Um, si Imhotep is the second king of Egypt's third dynasty, who was later worshipped as the god of medicine in Egypt and in Greece where he was identified with the Greek god of medicine, okay? Asclepius, okay? Architect of the step pyramid built at the necropolis of Saqqara in the city of Memphis, okay? Memphis, okay? And the Egyptian civilization was during the um, CA 3000 and during this time, the practice of prophylaxis by medicine man and high priest. Okay, so medicine man pa rin yung guma, ang ginagamit nila and the high priest. Siya yung mag, um, parang maggagamot doon sa may pasyente. The emphasis on personal hygiene, cleanliness within, within and outside the body was also um, um, introduced during this time. So, may sanitation measures na rin. Mummification. Yan. It is uh, it recognized during this time it recognized 250 different diseases. So, may na-recognize sila na ganong klaseng diseases and of course, may treatment sila for that um, kind of diseases. It was developed um, during this time, they develop drugs and procedures. So, meron na mga drugs na mga gamot na pwedeng ipacure or igamot sa patient na may sakit and a certain procedures. Ano ba yung mga procedures? Katulad ng ginagawa ninyo sa nursing. Okay? And in the year 480 okay, BC or before Christ, okay, 
they already um started performing neurosurgery o di ba so siguro yun yung um part ng trifining di ba yung trifining na binubutasan nila yung skull neurosurgery kasi di ba ginagawa yung trifining actually yung trifining i think diyan din nang gagaling yung um craniotomy na ginagawa ngayon or neurosurgery yung um, uoperahan yung skull para maayos yung halimbawa nagkaroon ng stroke, merong nag-block dyan na uh, mga blood vessels so tatanggalin yung, yung nag-block na blood vessels or blood clot, tatanggalin yun so it, it is uh, using um, a procedure na neurosurgery or um, craniotomy ang tawag doon okay. so yun yung pinagbasihan ng trifining kanina na sinasabi natin na binubutasan yung scalp pero napakasakit lang yung procedure nila kasi without anesthesia diba? and during our time naman in the current situation may anesthesia na yan at may sterile technique na para hindi siya lalong magkaroon ng infection okay? oh, asan ako? and let's move on to the time of Hebrews no? si A1400 before Christ. Okay. So, when we say a CA, uh, it means approximately or around 1,400 BC or before Christ. Okay. The Hebrews, they are the founders of public hygiene. So, ano ba yung public hygiene? Siguro yung lilinisin na yung mga kapaligiran, magwawalis, magtapo ng basura ng maayos, so yung mga ganyan. And during this time, Moses was the father of sanitation. Okay? And then, uh, Mosaic Health Code pertained, meron na silang tinatawag na Mosaic Health Code, which pertained to every aspect of individual, family, and community hygiene. Okay? Meron tayong, itong Mosaic Health Code, meron siyang mga, it is divided into two, my principles of personal hygiene and environmental sanitation. So, under your principles of personal hygiene, dapat ini-introduce na nila yung rest. Kailangan magkaroon ng rest, mat magkaroon ng sleep, no? Uh, matutulog, may oras ng tulog sa gabi, hours of work, may certain time lang na magtrabaho, may certain time na magpahinga, at may cleanliness na. So, that's the that's under the personal hygiene during the time para mapangalagaan daw yung health ng tao. And, and under your environmental sanitation, meron na silang inspection of food, methods of dispose, paano magtapo ng basura, basura garbages, yan man magdispose ng mga dead bodies so meron na yan detecting and reporting diseases so meron ng reporting of diseases pag may na-detect practice of isolation may quarantine na rin fumigation and disinfection they have also detailed instruction on the correct way of hand washing so during the Hebrews time so na-introduce na ang mga yan no? si Moses as the father of sanitation Ancient Greeks, ayan, ito na si Asclepius. Si Asclepius, Asclepius is one of the um, significant um, person during this time. Okay? Asclepius was known as the god of medicine and healing in ancient Greek methodology. So, she repre he represents the healing aspect of medical arts. So, sa kanya nang galing. And meron siyang daughter na ang pangalan is Higia. Okay, who is the goddess of health, cleanliness, and sanitation, and afterwards, the moon. Okay, she was associated with the prevention of sickness and the continuation of good health. And also another significant um, uh, person here, Panasha, okay, the daughter of Asclepius and the granddaughter of Apollo. It is said that she has or she have the potion which she healed the sick. Ano ba yung potion niya? Kaya, ayan, bit, 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 bit niya. The panacea was supposed to be remedy that would cure all disease and prolong life indefinitely. Okay, during that period. And later on, nakilala naman si Hippocrates, who is the father of medicine. So, tandaan nyo ha, si Hippocrates, ang father of medicine. 
exponent of the science of preventive medicine. So, may science na dito. It introduced the philosophy and interrelationship between the physical and mental health. According to Hippocrates, a healthy mind dwells in a healthy body. So, kailangan healthy yung mind natin para healthy din yung body. It treat a patient as a whole, no? Not just the physical aspect again. So, it changed the magic medicine na during the primitive times into science of medicine. So, nakilala na yung science dito. It taught physicians to use the eyes and ears. To use the eyes to assess or to detect a problem or diseases and of course the ears uh, to listen to listen the subjective uh, complaint of the client the Hippocratic Oath is an oath um, traditionally taken by physicians pertaining to the ethical practice of medicine so my ethical practice na rin na tinuturo si Hippocrates so there are three kinds of refuge for the sick okay the secular religious and attendance so secular is directed by physicians usually um, conducted in spas and resorts the religious it is um, um, conducted in the sanctuaries of god and attendance yun yung mga uh, basket bearer who look after the sick so may mga dala -dala silang mga gamot and romance ano naman tong romance na to so, contributed to the field of sanitation, yung Romans, a building of aqueduct, purification of water supply. So, nagkaroon na yung purification of water supply here. So, appointing of public health medical officers, so, under na ng Romans yan. Establishment of hospitals, which emphasize both preventive and curative aspects of care. So, nag-improve, di ba? As you can see, nagkaroon ng improvement. That's why it's very important. Tatingnan natin kung paano ba talaga nagsimula ang treatment, ang medicine, ang nursing. Ano ba ang naging part ng nurses, di ba? During the time. And in the um, early Christian period, so, during this period, the Christian church expressed soccer to orphanage, no poor, travelers, and the sick. Okay? So, the deaconess actually given to women with good um, standard or standing to uh, sila yung mga nagbivisit sa mga sick, no? An order of deaconesses, it is um, organized visiting of the sick. Then, Dito yung mga order of deaconesses, meron, ito yung mga cold visiting nurses or forerunner of community health nursing. So, the endeavor, the endeavor is to practice the corporal works of um, nurses in feeding the hungry, caring for the sick, and burying the dead. So, this is the contribution naman during the early Christian period. Okay. So, Phoebe, a friend of St. Paul and the first deaconess and the first visiting nurse, siya yun, yung friend of St. Paul. And another um, person here is Fabula, a Roman matron of rank. She was one of the company of noble Roman uh, women who influenced or who was influenced by uh, St. Jerome. No? Um... He, she gave up all earthly pleasures and devoted themselves to the practice of Christian asceticism and to charitable work. Just like Florence Nightingale. Diba? Parang um, medyo mayaman din pero give up nila um, just to do a charitable work. She erected a fine hospital at Rome and she gave um, large sums to the church and religious communities at Rome and at other places in Italy, si Fabula. All her interests were centered on the needs of the church and the care of the poor and sufferings. So, sila yung mga significant person during the time. Then, um, meron, meron silang tinatawag na ito, no? Hotel Dio of Bone. Hotel Dio of Bone. Bone daw ang pronunciation niyan. Bone, yan. Um, this is one of the most charming old hospital in France in the 
one quiet typical of hospitals established in medieval times. Okay, it is reputed to be the oldest existing hospital which has continuously occupied its original building. This hospital has a history as, colorf as colorful as its steps, cobbled roofs. So, napakaganda no, ng hospital na yan. Okay, it's a France. Now, let's move on to the uh, Middle Ages. Okay. Uh, wait lang ha, medyo liitan ko lang ito. Okay. Okay, let's continue. Okay, during the Middle Ages, so 1100 to 1300, okay, charitable institutions or sanctuaries intended for the aged, poor, and sick people was established during this time. And during this era, nursing was either done by charitable institutions or poor people who work for the rich. So, nas, napakababa lang talaga ang ano, no? Nuns and sisters works as a staff nurse in the hospital. Caregiver are not required to have a formal training. So, walang formal training. Basta mag-care lang. Nurses went to the community and hospitals were built also um, were built also medical schools in crisis. So, nagkaroon na rin ng mga medical schools. Europe men risk their lives to provide nursing care. So, during this time, so may mga Europe men na rin. And then, um, a group of men, the Parabolani, in 300 AD, started a hospital and provided nursing care during the Black plug epidemic. So, ito yung sinasabi kong black plug pala. Yung plug na sinasabi ko kanina during um, nagkaroon ng epidemic during 380. So, AD means ano domini which means um, in the year of the Lord. Okay. So, the influence of crusade in nursing. Okay. Crusades. It is a Christian military expedition that uh, to recapture the holy land from Muslims. Nagkaroon na rin ng medyo ano dito. In 2044, there are approximately 19,000 hospital in Western Europe. There is a spread of leprosy. So, nagkaroon ng leprosy. After a thousand years, there was no attempt to organize nursing. So, matagal din. Hindi nagkaroon ng nursing. Okay. There are three types of organization during that period. Military order, religious order, and secular order. Under your military order, okay, merong um, night hospitaliers. Ito mga night hospitaliers, they're, they're, these are the men who went to battle, to battle, to battle and then uh, retired to nurse the sick. So, Kung papansin din natin kailan nagsimula nagkaroon na ng mga lalaki no during the Middle Ages. So nagkaroon na hindi na lang for the woman ang mga pang ang lala, ang nursing no may mga lalaki na rin no dito nga oh nag na yung Europe men. So nag-start pala sa mga Europe sa Europe ang mga um lalaking nurses. And then meron tayong tinatawag Knight of St. John also known as Knights Hospitaller. A Christian organizations that began as an Amalfitan hospitals founded in Jerusalem in 1080 to provide care for the poor, the sick, or injured pilgrims to the Holy Land. And St. John of God and St. Camillus de Lelius, these are the two patron saints of nurses, stem from this period. Both stated as soldiers, but later we turned to nursing. And then Saint Camillus the uh, Lelius, she started the sign of Red Cross and developed the first ambulance service. So kita nyo na sino nag-start, diba? The Order of Saint Lazarus of Jerusalem originated in a leper hospital. It was originally established to treat virulent diseases such as leprosy. So, nagkaroon ng black plug, leprosy, during that time. 
religious orders. Ito naman yung another organization during this time. So, it is an institution managed by clergy. Throughout the dark Middle Ages, the hospitals and nursing system were connected by religious bodies. Nurses were provided by male and female monastic orders and, nur and nurses wore regular clothes. So, lapan uniform. Care of the sick was done by volunteers like St. Catherine of Siena. So, St. Catherine of Siena, di mo you know? Her lamp represented the sick at Siena. Sisters advanced from provision to wearing white robe to wearing hood. So, nakaroon ng hood. Name of oldest foundations, menong Hotel Dio in Paris, St. Thomas and St. Bartolom Bartolomis in London, the Order of St. Augustine and St. John of Jerusalem. So, yan yung mga oldest foundations. And the third one is the secular. Secular. Third Order of St. Francis of Assisi. The members of this organization were devoted their time and energy on enhancing the lives of their friends, neighbors in the community where they live. So, the caring for the sick and poor was one of the order's important activities to both men and women who served as nurses during the time. There were many Catholic orders caring for the sick during the Middle Ages. Even the secular orders were, or, were associated with the church, educated by apprenticeship, apprenticeship, lacking knowledge of hygienic measures, and practicing under very primitive conditions. The care provided was non nonetheless humane and caring. So, mga order na to, Order of St. Vincent de Paul and Sisters of Charity. So, let us now proceed to the Renaissance period. Okay, Renaissance period. Um, this period is from 1400 to 1550 AD or Anno Domini, which means in the year of our Lord. So there is already an interest in arts and science emerged during this period. Geographic explorations by Europeans was also um, um, done. Society was filled with thieves due to social deprivation. So napakagulo ng society nun, maraming thieves. The care of the sick was entrusted to those who were proven guilty of a crime or thief. So, sila yung, paano kaya, you know, sila yung magkikare dahil as punishment sa kanila. So, caretakers were, were not given human facilities like food and quarters. So, all the more they got buried into evil deeds like stealing the patient's foods and accepting bribes. So, paano kaya gagaling ang pasyente, di ba? So, ibig sabihin yung mga nursing during renaissance period, eh, parang as form of punishment sa kanila. So, they are doing it not from their heart, di ba? So, very uh, sad in period na to. So, the need for care of the sick and poor escalated. So, dumami pa, di ba? Mas madami talagang magkakasakit. Kasi, paano sila gagaling kung yung um, mismong caregiver nila ay eh, problematic? Hospitals were, hospitals were for the weak, aged, contagious disease, physically and mentally ill. So, imagine mo na lang yun. A fee was charged for the hospitalization. So, may bayad. And the bubonic plug epide epidemic during this time, meron bubonic plug, killing 20 to 50 percent ay uh, Europe's population. So, Thomas Sidenham is one of the significant person during this time. He's the founder of clinical medicine and epidemiology. It emphasizes the detailed observation of patients and maintained accurate record. So, my assessment na, no? Tas may documentation na. He has been called the English Hippocrates. And he is the first person to set an example on clinical methodology said that a doctor must rely on his own observation and clinical experience and he appeared to have practiced largely common sense medicine. And during the reformation period in 1550s, the religious appeal led by uh, Martin Luther destroyed the unity of Christian faith. So, kasalanan ni Martin Luther. The wrath of 
Protestantism swept away everything connected with Roman Catholicism. Properties of hospitals and schools were confiscated. Nurses fled their lives in England. Many hospitals were closed. No one took care or to take care for the sick. Nursing became the work of the least desirable woman, took bribes from patients, stole the patient's food, and used alcohol as tranquilizer. Nurses sunk in lowest level. Medical instruction continued along primitive lines. So it is very sad, no, during the Renaissance period, ang pangit no, um, ano ng nurses, kasi na-destroy ang Talaga namang, I am a Catholic, no? pero hindi ko naman binubos yung Catholicism. Pero um, sayang din yung sinimulan nila, di ba? Na-destroy. So, in 1840s, nagkaroon ng women's movement. <clears throat> because during this time, women are not considered equal to men. So, no right to vote or to be educated. So, Women's Rights Convention in Seneca Falls, uh, New York, signaling the beginning of social unrest. With suffrage, rights of women were advocated and nursing profession advanced. In 1900s, uh, women were accepted to college and universities, just right a um, few years after that movement. And during the Industrial Revolution in 1700s to 1800s, this was a time of free thought, individualism, and the beginning of capitalism and democratic forms of the government. Gradually, brought forth a more equitable um, living style for, pe for the people. Capitalists were protected by the law in his exploitation of workers, there were child labor, sweep shop, sweet shops, uh, where diseases and accidents were the norm. Okay, sad pa din. No? Hospitals remained places where the poor went to die. Oppression of women during this period. So, the Industrial Revolutions, 1700s pa rin, no? is a continuation of the previous slide. So, Mother Mary Catherine Mac only founded the Sisters of Mercy. It is a religious order emphasizing in nursing the poor and the sick. Emancipation of women fight for human rights as a step in developing nursing profession. Prolifer proliferation of factories with introduction of technology okay, was um, um, promoted or established in France. Barbers function as surgeons. Grabe na yung mga barbers naging surgeon. Leaching, giving enemas, and thought extraction. Ginagawa ng mga barbers. Women make beds, scrubs the floors, and bath the poor in almhouses. Factory workers endure long hours of work. Medical records were founded during 1800, the Royal College of Surgeon in London. The end of 18th century, there is no standards for nursing working in the hospital. So, wala pa rin. Di pa rin recognize ang nursing. In the 20th century, or the machine age, no, during this time, nagkaroon ng increase in poverty. Workers are exploited. Development of other nursing services aside from hospital service, such as private duty, public health nurse, school, government, and maternal nursing was um, recognized during this period. Uh, we have the age of specialization, where in the uh, college and postgraduate nursing education for program during this, this uh, 20th century. Standards are set, so in 1913 to 1937, karon ng standard curriculum and textbooks, nagkaroon ng World War I during this period also. Nurses were assisted by National Red Cross during this time. And then, um, nagkaroon ng the Great Depression in October 29, 1929, or the Black Friday. 
nagkaroon ng financial crisis, crisis wherein unemployed nurses, yung mga unemployed, maraming unemployed nurses, may military nurses, yan. And let's proceed to the contemporary nursing. So, the, in contemporary nursing, meron na rin to sa book ninyo. This period includes scientific and technological developments and many of the social changes occurring in, since 1945. The World Health Organization was established by the United Nations to assist in fighting disease by providing health information and improving the nutrition Okay, the living standard and environmental conditions of all people. <clears throat> so, ano mga trends during uh, contemporary period? Nagkaroon ng scientific and te technological research. Nagkaroon ng use of atomic energy for medical diagnosis and treatment. Use of sophisticated equipment for diagnosis and therapy. The advent of space medicine also brought about the development of aerospace nursing. So, during this period, ito naman yung mga um, significant people recognized now. Colonel Pearl Meatwalker, uh, de he developed a comprehensive one-year course to prepare nurses for aerospace nursing at Cape Kennedy. So, nursing involvement in community health is greatly emphasized to support the primary health care. Technologic efficiency has relieved nurses from a numerous a tedious task. So, na meron na kasing technology, no? So, medyo gumaan ka na. Pero sa Pilipinas, mabigat pa rin. Just like in lifting, di ba? Makikita nyo later sa inyong FNP. Lifting natin, gamit natin, draw sheet pa rin. In other hospital, meron na talaga silang machine to lift the client. Uh, in other country, no? Sa Pilipinas, of course, wala pa rin tayo. I don't know sa magagandang malaking hospital like Asian hospital, di ba? The nurse of the modern times is constantly assuming responsibilities of patient care that were formerly formerly the sole prerogative of the physician. Oops. Okay. So, meron pa rin religious influences during this period. The strong influence of religious of the development of nursing started in India 800 to 600 BC and flourished in Greece and Ireland in 3 BC with male nurse priest. Theodore Fid Fliedner re revived the church order of Deaconess to care for those in a hospital he had founded. He had profound influence in nursing because of Florence Nightingale, had her training at the Kaiserwerth Institute. Deacon Deaconess of Kaiserwerth became famous because they were the only ones formerly trained in nursing. So, si Father Basil Moru founded the Nursing Sisters of the Holy Cross in Limans, France in 1841. And Father Sorin, he, um, he brought four sisters to Notre Dame in South Bend, Indiana in 1841. So, war period. Okay, during the American Civil War in 1861 to 1865. During this time, the women played a major role in nursing and sanitation efforts during the Civil War, uh, paving the way for their entry into the nursing profession in greater numbers after the war, as well as paving the way for further prof professionalization of the nursing field. In 1914 to 1918, the duty of an army nurse is much more varied than in civilian nursing profession. They need to be decisive and quick thinking when determining treatment, cleaning wounds, and attending to minor surgery. Physical strength and high level of efficiency is required, uh, endured excessive workload, and lack of staff to meet the demands during this time. The conditions made life more difficult to a nurse, napakahirap, also at risk of contracting contagious diseases. Experience same hardships as the soldiers, ang mga nurses. The harsh 
foreign climate, inadequate basic necessities, and consequent dysentery were all endured by the female nurses as well. So, kawawa din ang mga, di ba, pag tinitingnan natin yung history ng nurses, kawawa rin ang mga dinaanan ng mga nurses. Thanks to Florence Nightingale na inaangat niya ang ating level, di ba, ng nursing. In the World War II, during 1939 to 1945, casualties created an acute shortage of caregiver. The cadet nurse corps was established in response to a marked shortage of nurses. Auxiliary healthcare workers became prominent during this time. Practical nurses, aides, and technicians provided much of actual nursing care under the instruction and supervision of better prepared nurses. Medical specialties also arose at the time to meet the needs of hospital clients. So, meron na mga medical specialties. Ma'am, ano ba yung mga medical specialties? So, dito na yung nag-start yung cardiologist, um, internal medicine, pediatric, ob obstetrician. So, yun yung mga specialties. So, katulad ng din ng nursing. Di ba, nurses? So, medical nurse or ward nurse, operating room nurse, um, emergency or ER nurse and so on and so forth World War so yan yung mga nangyayari no? kung titignan nyo sa picture during the World War 1 or American Civil War napaka crowded ng hospitals maraming wounded napakarumi okay so the nursing pioneers okay so ito yun so Harriet Tubman which was born in Araminta Ross um, in 1920, uh, sorry, 1820, okay, to March 10, 1913. She was an African American abolitionist, humanitarian, and union spy during the U U.S. Civil War. Um, and she had 13 missions to rescue over 70 slaves during the network of anti-slavery activists and safe houses known as the Underground Railroad, known as the Moses of her people. So, another significant person or nursing pioneer, Sojourner Truth, in 1797 to November 26, 1883. Uh, the self-given name from 1843 of Isabella Bonfrey, an American abolitionist and women's rights activist. Truth was born in slavery in Swartikel, New York. Her best-known speech, Ain't I a Woman, was delivered in 1851 at the Ohio Women's Rights Convention in Akron, Ohio. Another, so marami pang significant uh, or nursing pioneers, Dorothea Lent. Landed Dix in uh, April 4, 1802 to July 17, 1887. Was an American activist on behalf of the indigent insane. Uh, she created the first generation of American mental asylums. During the Civil War, she served as superintendent of army nurses. And then Clarice Harlow Barton. On December 25, 1821 to April 12, 1912, he was, uh, she was a pioneer of American teacher, nurse, and humanitarian. She has been described as uh, having a strong and independent spirit and is best remembered for organizing the American Red Cross. Say Barton, American Red Cross. And Lily, Lillian Ward okay, was nurse, um, social worker, public uh, official, teacher, author, pioneer, uh, sorry, editor, um, human rights, people, women's rights activist, and the founder of American Community Nursing. So, is, she is the founder of Visiting Nursing in the United States and Canada. It provides nursing care to the indigenous patients or clients. The first community health nurse, Lillian Wald, established Henry Street Settlement a Service in New York. 
Uh, she also supported education for the mentally challenged child, advocate more lenient immigration laws. So, yun yung kanya mga contributions ni Lilian, uh, Lilian Wall. And another one. Isabel Adams Hampton Road in um, 1860-1910 was one of the founders of modern American nursing his theory and one of the most important leaders in the history of nursing. She, has also, uh, uh, she also implemented an array of reforms that set standards for nursing education. Um, uh, one of her most notable contributions to the system of nursing education was the implementation of a grading policy for nursing students. So, she nag-start kung magkaroon ka ng grades. President of American Society of Superintendents of Training Schools for Nurses, also known as a National League for Nursing, and the organization that became the American Nurses Association. She was also one of the founders of American Journal of Nursing and another um, significant or nursing pioneer, Jane Arminda Delano of March 13, 1962, uh, was born in Montreal Falls, New York, United States, died April 15, 1919 in, in Savannah, Laurier, Atlantic, France. She started work in 1887 at the Jacksonville, Florida Hospital, treating victims of a yellow uh, fever epidemic during that time. So, nagkaroon ng epidemic ng yellow fever. She demonstrated her superior executive and administrative skills and developed innovative nursing procedures. A leading pioneer of the modern nursing profession, Delano uh, almost single-handedly um, created American Red Cross Nursing when she united the work of the American Nurses Association, the Army Nurse Corps, and the American Red Cross. Through her efforts, um, emergency response team were organized for disaster relief and over 8,000 registered nurses were trained and ready for duty by the time the United States entered World War I. During the course of the war, more than 20,000 of her nurses played vital roles with the United States of America. Okay. So, napakarami ng nursing tayo, nur, no? Another one is Mary Breckenridge in February 17, 1881 to May 19, 1965. She also was known as Mary Carson Breckenridge, uh, was an American nurse midwife and the founder of the Frontier Nursing Service. Uh, she introduced a model rural, rural health care system to provide professional services. She created a decentralized system of nurse midwives, district nursing centers, and hospital facilities. Originally called the Kentucky Committee for the Mother and Babies and later the Frontier Nursing Service or FNS, the system lowered the rate of death in, in childbirth in Leslie County, Kentucky, from the highest in the nation to substantially below the national average. So, thanks to FNS, nurse midwives were no more than six miles away from any patient providing both preventive and curative nursing. FNS continues to serve this region. And then, let's move on. Ang layo pa pala ni Florence Nightingale, no? So, familiar na kayo ni Florence Nightingale. In May 12, 1820, and died on August 13, 1910. She is known as the Lady with the Lump, was a pioneer of modern nursing, a writer, and a noted statistician. Diba siya yung first jurist? Florence's older sister was named Parthenope. Her parents were William Edward Nightingale and Franz Nightingale Nismith. So yung mga jurist na yan. Inspired by what she took as Christian divine calling, experienced first in 1837 at Embley Park and later throughout Florence's life. She committed herself to nursing, 
though discouraged by her parents. Florence Nightingale was most famous contribution came during the Crimean War, which became her central focus when reports began to filter back to Britain about the horrific conditions of the wanted. By 1959, she set up the Florence Nightingale or Nightingale Training School at St. Thomas Hospital on 9 of July, 1860. The first trained Nightingale uh, nurses began work in on 16 May 1865 at the Liverpool a Workhouse Infirmary. She also campaigned and raised funds for the Royal Buckinghamshire Hospital in Aylesbury near her family home. So Nightingale's belief So Nightingale's belief is uh, yung holistic framework inclusive of the hill of the ill patients and the health so there is a need for theoretical basis and liberation of education as foundation for nursing practice also she believed the importance of creating an environment that promotes healing and the need for the body of nursing knowledge distinct from medical knowledge so dapat iba yung nursing knowledge in having a systematic method of assessing the patient, individualized care of the uh, care on the basis of patient's needs and preferences, maintaining confidentiality, and nurses uh, should be formally educated and function as client advocate. Yun yung concept ni Florence Nightingale. The environmental factors affecting the health. Okay, according to Florence Nightingale, there should be adequate ventilation, um, which has also been regarded as factor to contributing uh, to changes of the patient's process of illness recovery. She defined in her environmental theory are the following factors present in the patient's environment as the following, pure or fresh air, uh, pure water, sufficient food supplies, sufficient drainage, cleanliness, light, especially a direct sunlight, or any deficiency in one or more of these factors could lead to impaired functioning of life processes or diminish health status about my problem, any of these uh, factors. And another, so let's move on to another um, nurse pioneers okay okay so linda recharge july 27 1841 to april 16 1930 so linda recharge was the first professionally uh, trained american nurse she established nursing training programs in the united states and japan and the first system for keeping individual medical records for hospitalized patients. And in 1885, she helped to establish Japan's first nurses training program. She was elected as the first president of the American Society of Superintendents of Tra uh, Training Schools and served as head of the Philadelphia Visiting Nurses Society. She retired from nursing in 1911 at the age of 70 sorry um medyo um yan ibaba ko lang ng konti para makita nyo yung age of 70 yan okay and then yan move ko na lang and then another okay so another um, nursing fire nurse, si Lavinia Lloyd Duck in 1858 to 1956. She compiled the first and the long most important manual of drugs for nurses, Materia Medica for nurses in 1890. She strove not only to improve the health of the poor, but also to improve the profession of nursing through her teaching, lecturing, and writing. She played a major role as a contributing editor of the American Journal of Nursing. She also did most of the work for a history of nursing, four volumes, no? 1907, um, 12, later revised and abridged. Okay. And another pioneer, I think last two na to. Okay. 
Margaret uh, Hygien Stonger, September 14, 9, uh, 1879 to September 6, 1966. She's an American birth control activist and advocate of negative eugenics and the founder of the American Birth Control League, which eventually became Planned Parenthood. Uh, woman's choice to decide how and when if she 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 will bear children in her drive to open the way to universal access to birth control Sanger was ahead of her time and another pioneer Shirley Titus in 1892 to 1967 is a nurse educator administrator advocative improved economic security of nursing nurses she championed nurses' responsibility to improve the economy security. Her 1943 article, Economy Security is Not Too Much to Ask, asserted that as employed professionals, nurses need the protection and the legal right to collective bargaining. Okay? So, sila yung mga another last four um um nursing pioneer so i'll cut my video here and i'll continue my video um later history of nursing in the philippines and then the other topic so it's three uh, video or lecture presentation okay so please um continue watching the next video thank you